Data Lab and Mastercard Foundation have partnered to develop the Africa Youth Employment Clock. It's the first digital tool to advance data-driven decision-making on youth employment on the continent. The platform, which aggregates data, is set to showcase granular real-time data to forecast employment trends until 2030 and equip decision-makers with accurate and timely data. Here's Jimmy Mbogo with more. The platform seeks to offer detailed data on youth population and employment rate. The data now showing that Kenya's youth population aged between 15 and 35 years is highly employed in the informal sector and the service sector. As of 2023, out of 11.6 million young working Kenyans, only 11%, an equivalent of 1.3 million, were employed in the formal sector, while 89% were in the informal sector, representing 10.4 million youth out of which 52% or 6 million were in the service sector. The number of those who have a job often don't have a good job and 90% are informal. To some extent in many African countries informal is normal, maybe some of the informal parts also want to escape the tax system, so there may be some, poor, you know, some opportunity to, to add there. But still that's the key question of how can you convert the hustler jobs or how can a hustler become um, maybe not a banker but at least something in between. We have these narratives usually, but the data to back it up um, is, is not usually there. And so for me, where I see the opportunity is in us getting high growth firms that are generating formal quality jobs for our young people. The data also reveals that agriculture continues to lose popularity among the youthful population, a situation that experts believe will only get worse. On the flip side, however, construction jobs are set to gain momentum in the country with more than half a million youth expected to be working in construction by 2030. This is information that can be able to guide, even when you're coming up with uh, uh, youth programs, youth activities, and also even when we're coming up with policies when it comes to employment. Uh, one thing I know this information should be able to even uh, inform our young people, what are the sectors that they should be looking at when they're looking for employment? At the same time, the government has been urged to lower internet prices to unlock more opportunities in the digital economy, with experts noting that this could be the silver bullet to ending unemployment in the country. As the world evolves, it is data such as this that is expected to shape the future of the workplace and the policy required. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV, Nairobi.